Over the past couple months, Hasbro, the makers of the Monopoly board game, have released two versions of that game. And my view is that those versions were specifically designed to create social media outrage, to manipulate you, to buy their products. And I'm speaking of Monopoly Socialism and Miss Monopoly. Now, I'm not making an equivalency between the ridiculousness and inappropriateness of each of these versions. I think the Monopoly Socialism one is objectively worst and more shameless. Nonetheless, both were designed for the same broad goal. To get you to react to the outrage of your online opposites, your online adversaries. A Monopoly Socialism was set with the tagline that winning is for capitalists, and the whole game was mocking socialism. And the clear objective was to get socialists like myself and like many of my viewers mad and to tweet about it and Facebook about it and talk about the game, even if derisively, with a goal of showing, of signaling to people on the right that, hey, Hasbro is our friend. They want to, you know, make games that speak to us and that challenge our ridiculous enemies. And I'm going to support them with my money. And likewise, Miss Monopoly, where the whole premise is that women get more money when they pass go than men, and that some of the properties and whatnot celebrate the accomplishments of women, the goal there is clearly to trigger, you know, alt-right voices and conservative voices who feel that this is feminism run amok, that, that pay equity is a myth, but board games are still buying into it, and on and on and on to create hashtags, and then of course... People like myself, people on the left, progressives broadly defined, would see that mock it and associate Hasbro with positive progressive branding and be more likely to buy the game and talk about the game and give Hasbro free advertising. H Bomber Guy, one of my favorite YouTubers and one of the, the best left-leaning bread tubers, if you will, made a video not too long ago talking exactly about this. The video was called Woke Brands, and he noted that in this age of advertising, there's nothing more potent than the sort of free advertising you can get than when you sell your product as a moral crusade. He noted specifically how Keurig and Gillette and other companies like Nike associated their brands with progressive causes and progressive figures and progressive ideas. And that by doing so, they not only won cred from certain elements of society, but they made so much anger from those on the right who destroyed their Nike goods and their Keurig goods and their Gillette goods, what have you, that created a counterspin to further sell their products to progressives. These hashtags that were generated, the videos that were generated, the articles that were generated, none of that had to be paid for. And yet, it probably generated significant amounts of sales. And my view is that this is what Hasbro is trying to do. It's even sort of related to their fairly recent millennial monopoly version where they mock millennials and the fact that we're poor. Like, isn't it funny that millennials can't afford housing and food and shelter? And that, isn't it funny that avocado toast is a meme and we've made that meme part of our game function? And like, that was designed to generate outrage. Like, how dare Hasbro make fun of millennial precarity? And then, of course... When millennials reacted to it, boomers would be like, ha ha ha, Hasbro is siding with us, the boomer generation, who mocks these millennials because they just don't know what real struggle is like. Each of these Monopoly versions were designed less to provide an interesting twist on the Monopoly formula and more to provoke a reaction from you and to provoke a reaction from people with different views from you. We should keep this in mind. Let's think back to H-Bomb's video. This is a tailor-made example of a company manipulating us into trying to buy their products because they associate negatively with people we don't like. And they did it with Monopoly Socialism to try to get right-wingers to buy it, and they did it with Miss Monopoly uh, to get left-wingers to buy it by triggering the other side. Hasbro is the best example because... Keurig and Nike and Gillette, for instance, they associated themselves pretty clearly with progressive causes, but Hasbro in rapid succession just tried to double dip. He's like, we'll just trigger both sides through different versions of our game, and we'll do it over a period of just a scant few weeks. When you see something like Monopoly Socialism or Miss Monopoly, think about it less as a product with an actual function, like this is actually something they're trying to sell me based on the product, and think about it as a platform to create moral and ideological outrage.
Because if you do think about it as that, you'll start to see that the point was never what was in the box, but how people reacted to the box. That's how the money is being made. That's how the advertising is being generated at zero or at least at low cost. And like HBOM noted in that video, I get it. I'm sympathetic to the fact that it's good to see companies, it's good to see brands take progressive stands. Like it's nice to see. But we have to remember that they're not doing it altruistically. They're doing it cynically and in some cases disingenuously. They take these progressive stands but don't actually mean it because the way they run their businesses as they treat the environment and their workers and their suppliers and their consumers is retrograde at best. So don't let them manipulate you. Don't let brands manipulate your sense of social justice for profit. Don't let them do that. We have better things to focus on and we have better things to spend our energy on.